Hey guys, this is Ryan Phillips here and we're here with Joseph Newton. Uh, Joseph is 16 years old and already has a successful and profitable local agency. And we've invited him on today to uh, share his story with you guys. And um, Joseph, first question that I've got for you is what level are you at right now with your agency? Yeah, okay, so right now, um, I've currently got about like three or four clients um, and kind of in the range of about two to three grand a month. So it's just going well, right, it's going well. So how much, so if you've got, um, let's say you've got three clients, you say three to four, is, is you, are you trying yeah. to close one at the minute or is it? Yeah, we've, we've, well, next week I've already got like, we've got about six demos lined up, like meetings, so we've, uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of like in the range of like two to three K, but like, like I said, we've, we've got clients coming in quite constantly so it's uh it's, it's going what yeah it's it's constantly going up and how long have you been doing it for literally since like like going at it like may so not long so it's in october now so june july august so six months awesome and for for your for your age for anyone that's listening from uh america 16 is, is still the age uh you know in school where in the uk where uh joseph's in school um, to, with you being in school and running a business doing this agency, uh, mm. how do you actually close these clients? What's your outreach process has been yeah, to reach okay. these guys and how do you close them? Yeah, so right now I have like a, I, I do a lot of cold calling and that's kind of how I do it. I used to be like a guy who makes like a hundred cold calls a day and would just hand people. Um, but I'm right now I brought on like a seller guy who does a lot of my cold calls for me. Um, and then I just got the meetings and then we, we close them and that's how, that's how we do that process. Yeah. Cool. When do you find time to do it in between school and homework and all of that I, stuff? I do it normally uh, in my lunch break. I go and sit in like a little office room um, and I go make cold calls um, and then I do that to school as well and don't always do my homework. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, th I think it's a good point to bring up because I think a number one limiting belief that some people have that are looking to start a business as a beginner is they've got work or they've got kids yeah. a family and for you to find time in between school and classes and when you when you was doing cold calls at lunchtime that would be in school that you would find a separate room i assume yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i just i go and ask the head teacher I go, I go and get a room and i just go i go i go and sit and i do my work and yeah. just like... brilliant so what niche are you actually in what what local business niche are you serving and doing the lead gen for yeah, so I work with gyms, a lot of CrossFit gyms, quite a lot of me West actually, not so much in the UK. Um, and that, that's kind of, I, I tend to work with them, get new members and really work on their, on their sales process with, yeah, with, with gyms. Cool. And that, that's another good point as well, because a lot of questions that uh, I see people have that are thinking about uh, jumping on the LVA program is they say, will it work in my country? And we always say we've got students from all over the world that do uh you know maybe they're based in the uk you're based in the uk but you yeah. do you know your business the clients that you have the us based do you have any uk based clients or are they all yeah, us I based have, I have what, yeah i do have one gym and it's just for me for, for me personally they're just like a lot more gyms i can go after in, in the us that's the only reason yeah that's the only reason cool and, and and it's lead gen for gyms is that is that what all your clients are is that the niche that you serve in just gyms yeah, just gyms. I recommend to anyone starting out, like just just stick with one niche, boys. It becomes like a disaster trying to go after like twenty different niches in current campaigns, probably. And and it's a lot easier to scale as well when you're in one niche because if you're doing free trial campaigns or if you know if you're doing a campaign for one gym, it becomes a you know a copy and paste rather than thinking of a brand new offer for a different niche. So it's always better to start with uh, start Same. with one niche. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. going from where you were uh, mm -hmm. six months ago as a 16 year old doing this part time and now, you know, making a full time income. I'm not sure how much your um, parents make, but that, you know, that's more money than what my parents made when I was 16. Uh, what were the what are the biggest challenges that you've faced so far and how have you overcome them? Um, I'd say that honestly, it's listening to too many people because there's a lot of things online. There's a lot of like content online. There's someone saying do affiliate marketing. There's someone saying do dropshipping, and there's, there's always these new like I guess shiny objects that you can go into. Um, so what I'd really I think say to anyone what I faced was that I tried to do everything. I tried to do all of these all of these things and all these business models. It didn't work. I like, nothing worked because I was trying to do everything. So I'd say that 
just stick with one thing um, and like only listen to like one person. So if you know, if you're, like for the LVA, if you're in this course right now, just stick to it. Like don't try and divert off anything. Just just stick to what you're teaching because if you do that, you'll see results. But if you don't, if you try and do other things, it's not it's not going to work. So I think it was just trying to listen to too many people. Really, that's my biggest problem. Cool. And for the gyms that you do in the lead gen four, yeah. what is your uh, kind of from a thirty thousand foot foot view your process for doing the lead generation for them for a gym yeah so i i do things a bit a bit differently i don't really do like the whole seven day free pass campaign i know a lot of people do um i kind of worked on that for a long time by studying people like russell brunson and just finding out what actually works in this industry so we do something called like a free transformation session um so we run that and then we really help the gym with their sales process and like really develop that um, and then so we, I guess what we do is we, we take them through like an application process the lead so they go onto the landing page they do the email then they t- they go for like an application the lead and then we take them onto like a thank you page and they just follow that process through really um, and then obviously we help the gym we, 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 you know, we, we, like we provide like the sales scripts the cold call script, like, cold call, like, the, like the, the call and the lead scripts so they, they've just literally got like a full blown process for, for converting a member it's just yeah so, so you're not just doing uh handing leads to the gym you're actually helping them with yeah, closing the leads yeah. And- I, rec- I recommend everyone do that because if you just give them leads that's not really going to work like I, I found that quite early on like you've got to actually help them with the process um, and really develop that for them it, it's interesting you say that because there's a, a student interview I'm doing with Mark Welsh after this who I was telling you about who closed the you know his first client within five hours and it was the yoga studio in Liverpool and he kind of overwhelmed them with the leads. He got them like 300 leads in yeah. the like a seven day trial period. It overwhelmed the yoga studio. And he yeah. actually went in and helped to look at their systems after that so they yeah. can cope with leads uh, a lot better. We, you know, and we helped him to say, you know, you don't want to give any business 300 leads straight away because you're going to overwhelm them. You want to, yeah. you know, drip feed it out. You don't want to spend all of the budget straight away. Um, and, and yeah, we found that a lot of people it's not really the lead gen that's a challenge. Sometimes it's the local, the business that's actually calling the leads or closing them. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I felt a lot of. I, I, I'll be honest, I lost quite a few clients just because I just didn't have that in place. So I'd recommend just everyone really help your clients with that, and you'll you'll be there. You'll be the favorite person. Which is a standard business principle as well. How you know the best question that you can can ask is how can I add value. And if you ask that question, if it's if you're an agency and you're providing a service like leads to a local business, what you've done to keep those clients going through trial and error because you lost clients in the early days was, you, you know, you would have asked yourself, how can I provide more value? How can I help the business turn those leads into customers? And that's what you're providing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, final question, Joseph, for any of the LVA kind of newbies, the people that are just starting out, building their business that are watching this interview, what advice would you give to these guys that are just starting out and looking to grow their uh, local agency, their local consulting business? What advice would you give to them? Um, I'd say that you've got to go all in. Like I'm in school, like for me, this is an only option. Like you've got to have that only option mentality. Like, you know, this is like, I'm not, I'm not going to a job, like I'm doing this. So like, I think if to anyone, I'd say that you have to make this like a priority. Um, like getting clients, you have to, you know, you're coming home from work, you, it's, you've got to be doing the prospect and you, know, you have to make it something that you've got to do. So if you really want to do this, you know, if you want to go and travel, you want to buy that thing, then it has to become, you know, it has to become that all-in thing. So you've got to just go full force at it um, and understand that you're going to lose clients. It's not going to be, you know, quick money. Um, but if you just keep going on it, like you will, you will, you will see, you know, you, you, you're always going to see success if you just keep going. Might it? Yeah. Awesome. And I always say to people, the reason that I've had the success that I've had is I'm really good at failing over and over and over and over again. Um, so yeah, like you say, focus on one thing and stick at something and you will see success with it. Awesome. Well, Joseph, um, again, incredible to see someone in my hometown, uh, Burton on Trent, uh, that's 16 years old, at high school that has uh, built a business from scratch. You know, you've got, you're doing three grand a month, you've got a few clients uh, and you've built this business part-time. Like it's very inspirational for me. Um, and I think it's gonna be inspirational for 
everyone else that's going to be in our you know community that's watching this so uh yeah. thanks for your time and i'll uh speak to you in the facebook group all right awesome thank you Aaron.